In this video, we will show you the two most convenient ways to connect your spectrometer to Ethernet, through a DHCP network connection or directly via your computer. For the first option, you will need a spectrometer, a power supply, a USB 3 cable, a switch, and three network cables. Start by connecting the spectrometer to a computer with a USB 3 cable and wait until the green power LED is on continuously. Go to the Start menu, select Avantes, and open the IP settings AS72 utility in the Start menu. Click on Open Communication and activate the connected spectrometer. Make sure the DHCP is enabled by checking the following box. Save these settings to the EEPROM and deactivate the spectrometer by clicking these buttons. It is now safe to close the program. Open the properties of Ethernet via the control panel and check if the IPv4 properties are selected. Click with the right mouse button on Internet Protocol version 4. Then click Properties. Select Obtain an IP address automatically. Once the program is closed, the spectrometer can be connected to a DHCP network. Remove the USB cable and make the following connection. First, connect a power supply and a network cable. Please be aware that the switch needs to have access to the DHCP server, otherwise the spectrometer will not be registered. Open Avasoft software, click on Options, go to the Ethernet USB option in the Global Options menu, and select Ethernet USB. Click on OK and restart the software. Go to File and click on Select Spectrometers. Click on Update to find spectrometers in the network of the computer. This can take a few seconds. Select the connected spectrometer and click on Apply. If no spectrometers are found, please check if the firewall is blocking port 4500. It might be necessary to switch off the firewall. Once the spectrometer has been successfully selected, it will be added to the menu and can be used via Ethernet. Option two is to work with Ethernet when the spectrometer is directly connected to a computer without using a DHCP server. Connect the spectrometer to a computer using a USB 3 cable. Open the properties of Ethernet via the control panel and select the IPv4 properties. Click with the right mouse button on Internet Protocol version 4 and then press Properties. Click Use the following IP address and fill in your own IP address. Fill in the fixed Ethernet parameters, IP address and subnet mask. Open the AS7010 IP settings utility through the connected USB cable. Fill in the data from the IPv4 properties. The IP address must be in the range that is set in the IPv4 properties. Only the last number needs to be different. Please note, Make sure that the DHCP enabled and link status are not checked. Disconnect the USB cable so that the spectrometer is powered off completely. Connect a power supply and a network cable. Open the software, click on Options, click on USB versus Ethernet and select the Ethernet USB option. Click on OK and restart the software. Go to File and click on Select Spectrometers. Once the spectrometer has been successfully selected, it will be added to the menu and can be used via Ethernet. If no spectrometers are found, please check if the firewall is blocking port 4500. It might be necessary to switch off the firewall. If you're still experiencing problems after following these instructions, please contact us for support.